I am Jane Pecoraro. I'm 58 years old and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a mother of two daughters. I am a registered nurse. My job and my daughters, they really keep me busy. I do need some help with my makeup and skincare because I've been doing the same routine uh, and using the same products since I'm 16 years old. I'm looking for a new job right now as a registered nurse and I feel that Mally could give me the confidence and the boost that I need. Welcome to my studio. What do you usually do with your normal skincare and makeup routine? I put moisturizer on in the morning. Three or four times a week, I'll throw on some mascara and some eyeliner. That's as deep as it goes. <laughs> and maybe a little lipstick. OK. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your moisturizer. OK, listen, I'm going to say this is great. This is a standby. I'm glad you've been moisturizing. But I do think that, again, as we age, our skin really does change. So when you are looking for creams, you definitely want to look for vitamin C, collagen, even very, very special hyaluronic acids that will really help your skin to look hydrated and moisturized. So you don't normally wear foundation every day, right? No. And I believe that might be because you are still thinking of the foundations from when we were young. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they were super thick yes. and goopy, yes. and you look like you could bake a cake on your face. Yes. This is my Stressless Foundation, which I also love because it helps to de-stress the skin. You use it as a skincare item because it has a lot of great skincare in it. You don't have to put it all over your face. Put it where you need it, and in your case, I would say you want to put a little bit under the eyes, a little on the apples of your cheeks, on your nose, and maybe on your chin. The biggest secret weapon that I have for women in their 50s and over are your brows. Believe it or not, when you do them right, I always call them like your army of anti-aging soldiers because they really can lift your face and open up your eyes. You want to take your brows and brush them up. Then we're going to start filling in. You're going to start your brow right here where the inside of your eye begins as well. The highest point of your brow, you're going to turn the pencil and right where your iris ends, that's gonna be the highest point of your brow. Then you're gonna turn your pencil, angle it towards your, the end of your eye, and that's where you want your brow to end. Now we're gonna use a little brow gel to really lift everything and hold it up. This is called a shadow stick. And it's really, really easy. It's really fast. It's bulletproof, I like to say, so it won't crease and it won't fall and it's gonna stay all day. Now, as we age, especially, and some of us are just born with hooded eyelids. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a hooded eye, mm -hmm. which means that the skin right here underneath the eyebrow falls a little bit down over your lash line. You're not going to put it in your crease because we technically don't have a crease. You're gonna create the crease for yourself. You're literally going to go right above the fold of your eye, just like so. And that's gonna give you the look of a more open eye effect. Yes, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Concealer is more to do exactly that, conceal. If you have dark circles, yes, if you have wrinkles, if you're using a great formula, it will help to plump the skin so that it doesn't look as wrinkly. But the trick is less is more. I like to use it in four secret places, in the inner corners of your eyes, outer corners of your eyes, either sides of your nose, and either sides of your mouth. These four secret places are gonna help you look like you've had an instant mini facelift. If you are over 50, you must wear blush. It instantly makes you look fresh. It makes you look awake. As we age, we lose color in our face. I'm gonna use a stick. I like to even just take it with my fingers and just tap it on the apple of the cheek and then blend up towards the cheekbone. Well, lip liner is back and it's better than ever. So gone are the days where you would take like a dark lipstick and then you take a dark lip liner. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take a lip liner that is mimics the look of your, your lip tone. And basically what you're doing is you're just kind of enhancing your natural lip color and making it look a little bit fuller. Now I'm gonna use a plumping gloss. It is not only gonna give you great color, but it's actually gonna plump your lips. Oh my God, I look like a different person. 